So this is the second part of the video. I hope you enjoy it. The fourth thing that we have been doing is to offer seasonal delicacies. For instance, we introduced Qing Tuan or green rice balls made of barley grass. We did so back in early April and we saw some success with it. My wife is really the master mind behind this. But the idea is basically we offer Qing Tuan during the Qingming festival. This is usually in early April of every year depending on the Chinese lunar calendar. So once we have a chance to let most of our customers know about this seasonal delicacy we're offering, it really helped with the sales as well as the group deliveries because it was not something that was readily available and very few restaurants offered it, let alone having the quality that we offered. So even four weeks after the Qingming festival has ended, we still have customers calling up and inquiring Inquiring about Qing Tuan on almost a daily basis. And we have begun selling them by taking pre orders for the sales next day. And this has really allowed us to hire an additional pastry chef on a part time basis to help us to keep with the demand. Now, this is something that definitely restaurant operators and owners can look into, go deeper into your research, and introduce new food items that can boost your sales, especially seasonal and cultural delicacies that are not readily available in the markets today. My fifth observation and tip is really that online reviews are more important than ever. On Google, we are currently sitting at 3.8 stars with over 300 reviews. In tough times like this, it is more important than ever to provide the best quality food you can possibly provide and build a strong reputation so that customers will keep coming back to you. Like I mentioned before, while most customers are nice and forgiving, we do have customers posting overly cooked dishes online and publicly shaming us. Well, sometimes it is just inevitable, but if you can, if you have the capacity, make sure you reply publicly to their postings and reviews and offering a solution, either by giving their money back or redoing the dish for free for them. In all the years I have been a part of a restaurant operation, I only had a handful of customers who actually took the offer. But the point being is that you as a restaurant operator offered it publicly to make things right for the angry customers. So all the customers who are browsing through online reviews can also sense that you are trying to make things right and taking care of your customers. And that is the most important part. My sixth discussion point is that if you have the capacity and the opportunity it is definitely a great feeling if you can give back to the local community, especially those frontline healthcare professionals who are fighting the coronavirus in the battlefield for us. We have volunteered to provide meals to one of the local hospitals and it was definitely a great cause and it was a great feeling to be able to give back a little bit. But even if volunteering is not really an option, in times like this, one of the things that you can potentially do is to offer discounts to essential workers as well as healthcare professionals. It is just one of the things where it doesn't really require much capacity or involvement. And then most people will appreciate if you can offer them that during special times like this. My last point is this. If you have been active online before on different social media, that's great for you. If not, be sure to stay up to date with your social media presence, making sure your website, if applicable, has your latest menu and promotions. Your Google listing, Facebook page, Instagram page, and other messaging apps. At the very, very list, you should ensure that customers can easily find your latest menu as well as the latest promotions at your restaurant. Before I wrap up the video, it does take a lot of time and energy for me to film a video like this. If you find the video insightful, please make sure to hit that like button down below, comment and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and it really helps a small channel like mine to grow and I much appreciate your efforts. So before I wrap up, 
I just wanted to quickly capture my true feeling. The last six or seven weeks of work at the restaurant have been both emotionally and physically draining. Basically, every day is more than 12 hours of work and literally no breaks. And there is literally no day off in special times like this. I have personally delivered more than 100 orders in the last 6 or 7 weeks. Most of the customers I dealt with are reasonably nice, while a handful of them were quite spoiled and not so pleasant to deal with. I have instances where I begun my shift 11 a.m. in the morning and finally have my first break and my first bite of food at 5 p.m. during a delivery run. I have days where I personally drove my own vehicle more than 100 kilometers to deliver foods to different customers. And I have one order where I was literally running around with my food for 15 minutes straight because I couldn't find the place. And the customer was just on their phone instead of trying to provide the accurate directions and instructions. Our staff have gone through many different food preps for different orders from volunteers to group deliveries while still trying to produce the best possible services and foods that we can. I know this is a very long video and I appreciate your attention and time and I hope this video provided some value to you. I'm still trying to produce these videos whenever I have a chance. Pretty much the only time I have to film these videos is very late at night. And that is probably why, why my voice sounds very dry and tired at times. Anyways, if you like my video today, be sure to give me a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my little YouTube channel. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and then supports a small channel like mine to grow. Hope you stay safe, hope you stay healthy, and I will see you in the next video.